Hey guys, Romantics here, bringing you another Zerzay review. Last week we took a week off just because of Destiny 2 beta that was going on, but we are now back, and here's our at the tower, right here near the uh, Crucible Quartermaster and Shex. So let's see what he's got. And first up for the Titan, no backup plans. Gauntlets, 3 foot of defense with intellect and strength, rain blows for increased attack speed of melees. Momentum transfer, you gain bonus melee energy on grenade hits. Uh, shotgun loader and machine gun loader, so reload those two types faster. And the exotic perk is force multiplier. Shotgun kills, trigger force barrier, and force barrier's duration is increased. I remember this was all the rage. Uh, basically, when you could, when force barrier was a real thing uh, to fear, now not so much. It's not as broken. Um, I think there's maybe things that are a little bit better, but it's not bad. So if you're looking, if you're really good with shotguns, I guess you can say, just because because of the special ammo, uh, I guess the special ammo that we do have now, where you only start off with it, you kill, you're killed, it goes away, all that kind of stuff, you have to wait around. If you're good with shotguns, go ahead and get this. If you're not so comfortable with shotguns, go ahead and pass with something better for your Titans. And second for the Hunter, we have a Skyburner's Annex. It is 3 to defense with mostly intellect, but you can get some strength. Ashes to assets, so you can gain bonus super energy on grenade kills. Heavy lifting, you gain bonus super energy from heavy weapon kills. Uh, innervation, bonus grenade energy on orb pickup. And the exotic perk is versatile shooter. Heavy weapon kills have a chance to create orbs. Orbs collected uh, when your super is full have a chance to grant special ammo. So this is very, very good for PvE, not so much for PvP. Um, so yeah, if you're looking to do some raids, things like that, go ahead and get this. Uh, if you're more on the multiplayer side, the PvP side, just go ahead and ignore this and wait for something next week. And lastly, for the Warlock, we have Starfire Protocol, 3 feet of defense, of course, with discipline and strength, special ammo and heavy ammo, so you can carry both, arc burn defense, and solar armor. Uh, the exotic perk is Starfire Protocol, gain an additional fusion grenade. Um, if you play fusion grenades and Sunsinger, there's no reason why you should not have this. Uh, you can probably, you can just unlock that free node, basically, uh, so that you get two fusion grenades. So... I would say just go ahead and buy if you're a Sun Singer and you abuse fusion grenades. Uh, yeah, so go ahead and buy. And as for the weapon, No Land Beyond Sniper Rifle, this can be used as your primary. Uh, the stats are pretty good, the range is almost maxed out. Uh, stability is not that great, impact is really good, rate of fire, not so great. So again, CQB Ballistics, Soft Ballistics, and Accurized Ballistics. So, I uh, don't know which one I'd really go with. Probably Soft Ballistics, if anything. But you really don't need a penalty to your impact. Um, that's just up to you. It gives you less recoil. So that's good. Um, so between these two, then you have Mulligan. Uh, missing a shot. Has a chance to return ammo directly to the magazine. And you have Lightweight, which grants you two, plus two to your character agility. Uh, snapshot, so aiming down incredibly fast. And then Flared Magwell, you can reload this weapon even faster. Uh, the Master is the exotic perk, increased precision uh, damage. Kills briefly, increased damage against next target. So, and then primary care. Like I said, you can use it as a primary slot. Um, you'd want to use it maybe Soft Ballistics. Uh, Mulligan, you probably want Snapshot just because it's aiming down it is kind of hard. But if you maybe want, since it reloads so poorly, you might want to do that. Just mess around with it, I'd say. Uh, see what your preference is. And, you know, the Master, of course. Uh, basically, what this is, that's an awful, awful shader. So we're canceling that. Um, it's a primary sniper rifle. It is very, very hard to use. Um, there is a small dot in this little iron sight, the little circle in the iron sight. And you know how there's that little spine that you see peeking out? 
Okay, well, right above that, when you have a headshot lined up, there's a red dot that appears. You have to pull trigger pretty much immediately when you see that. Uh, that's the only way that you will get headshots. Uh, it You want to go for headshots just because it reloads so poorly. Um, you'll see when you actually play with it. So if you're good with sniper rifles, I'd say buy this. If you're looking to get better with sniper rifles, I'd say pass on this one in particular. You can probably get something like the uh, Event Horizon from the uh, Crucible Quartermaster. So really, if you're confident in your sniping, go ahead and buy it. If not, maybe practice with another one beforehand. And the Legacy Engram is a gauntlet. And don't forget your three of coins and if you need some heavy ammo for some stuff there but either way thank you for watching again this will be back regularly uh there's not much more to say i haven't played destiny in a while uh i had preoccupied myself with the destiny 2 beta but i will be getting back on soon either way thank you for watching remember to like comment and subscribe and uh if you want to see some destiny 2 gameplay as well as just some regular d1 gameplay in a week or two uh go ahead and go to my personal channel romantic88 on youtube and uh see what you can do uh, see if you like what you see there subscribe if you like as well but either way my name is romantics and see you at the tower guys